What I have here is a model that includes uh, a few latent variables, including these two, Fe and Fe. Let me take a look at their relationship, the plot of their relationship. Now, as you can see, this plot here is quite interesting, but the axis are provided in standardized format. In other words, the zero here means zero standard deviations from the mean. That's the average for FE. One is one standard deviation from the mean and so on. The same is true for FE. So what if I want to generate a unstandardized chart based on this data set? What I do is I'll, I'll close out of here. Uh, I'll close out of this window. Then I'll go to the option. Uh, well, first I need to do something. I need to identify the uh, indicators that have the highest loadings with each latent variable. Because a latent variable is an abstraction, the measures that actually exist are the indicators. So, in the case of FE, this indicator, FE1, is the one with the highest loading. In the case of FA, uh, this indicator, FA4, is the one with the highest loading. So what I'll do is I will uh, create a graph that essentially associates FE1 with FE4. What I'll do is I'll go to the um, option on the main window called Save Group Statistics and I will use uh, for grouping variable FE1 and for the variable that will be grouped FE4 I will add and I'll ask the software to give me data in three groups or three intervals I will save this with a suggestive name which uh, I will uh, give us this one here. Uh, save it as a text file. Okay. Once it's saved, then what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, folder where that file is saved and I will open it using Excel. I will save the file again. I will save this file again as an Excel worksheet, but with the same name, just a different, uh, a different uh, extension, because this file uh, will hold a uh, table, and therefore it cannot. It, it will hold a graph, and therefore it cannot be uh, a, a tech, TXT file. So what I'll do now is I'll build a chart. Um, that will relate FE with FE. And for FE, I will have the data in intervals. So I have three intervals, 0 to 3.3. So I'll enter this, 0 to 3.3. And I'll enter this as text uh, data. Uh, the other interval is 3.3 to 6.7. And the third interval is 6.7 to 10. And my FE values, I will enter the means for FE. So I have this mean here for this interval, this mean for this interval, and this mean value here for this interval. Once I've done that, I will choose this area, and then I will choose the option Insert Column Graph. And there I have it, my graph, which I can change. Uh, but this graph shows essentially FA. I can actually delete this. I don't really need this legend. So this graph shows FA in three intervals of FE. And FA is measured 
uh, based on uh, the highest loading indicator on FE. And FE, which is here on the x-axis, is measured through the highest loading indicator of FE. And this concludes this demo on how to obtain unstandardized data uh, using an, 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 uh, a graph or, or a chart showing that data using Warp PLS and Microsoft Excel. Uh, this can use any spreadsheet software as well.